Welcome back to Around the Armstrong Table. I got some seafood sliders just in time for football season. All right, let's get this dish started. So we're going to start off with the seafood. So I got some redfish, some shrimp, and also some crab meat. Nice thing is you can use whatever you want, uh, but I like the combination of shrimp and crab meat. So what I did was I went ahead and diced up the shrimp and crab meat, and uh, I tried to make them into even slices or even pieces, if you want to say. Um, crab meat, you know, once you get in there with your hands, you just, it'll crumble up pretty good. Uh, so we're going to start with that. We're going to get that into a bowl and get these cakes started for these sliders. So now that I got that all in there, the next ingredient I'm going to come with is the sun-dried tomatoes. These are the smoked one that I used in a previous recipe. I'm going to throw in some shallots that are diced up pretty fine. And next, you guys know I love my garlic. So we got about four cloves of gar garlic that is diced. And all of these ingredients are just, they just play real well together. So being that we're working with seafood, we got to get that lemon flavor in there. So I'm going to add some lemon zest. And you really can eyeball this, um, you know, I said it's, sm you know, a small amount, but you want to make sure that that's going to permeate through. And what I did was I sliced up the lemon and used the juice of the one of the halves. Um, I made sure I didn't get any seeds in there, so I'm going to just say that's about a fourth of a cup. Um, all right, now that we got the lemon juice in there, what we can go ahead and do is add some chives. And I got about a fourth of a cup of chives. Um, I dice those up real fine as well. Chives are pretty easy. So I'm not using Obey. I'm going to actually use some Tony Saturé. Um, I just like the flavor better and it gives a little extra spice that the Obey doesn't. So that's going to be my go-to uh, in this particular dish. So now that I got that, here is one of the, the secret ingredient I'm going to save to this dish. Um, some sriracha mayo. Now I chose the P of Chang's version. Obviously you can pretty much use whatever you can find in your grocery store, but it's going to add so much flavor. Next we're going to have some panko breadcrumbs and these cakes are pretty much done so and, and if you notice i didn't really add any any salt or anything in here and the primary reason why i didn't is because we got the tony's the the uh, tony's in there and then the sriracha mail and then the crab meat also is going to have its own individual salt so you should be good there so what you want to do is take these and form them into cakes okay um i'll show you what they look like they just want to be slider size you don't want like a big crab cake size but i'll show you guys what these will look like and um i'm telling you you want to talk about tasty oh man they're, they're gonna be on point so that's what you want you want a nice little uh small cake that can go on a slider but you want to make sure there's some um that you get them thickness some thickness so i went ahead and did the rest of them and these are ready to go uh so what i'm gonna do next i'm actually gonna put those aside and um get ready for the other ingredients that's going to go in the sliders so i got a pan i went ahead and added some avocado oil to it and i got some diced onions okay so what we're going to do is take these onions we're going to caramelize these onions and just one small sweet onion um being that these are sliders i didn't need like a big big onion and quite frankly it's just going to be um maybe one or two of us eating it so next we're going to come in with that what's that here sauce we got we got to have that i mean come on Y'all know that that's just my ingredient and, and I got to have that in there. Um, now I did add some, um, a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually add that at the end. Uh, so of course you've seen in a lot of my other videos, I've added sherry and uh, this one's no exception. So I'm gonna add some sherry cooking wine and what that's gonna do is add an additional flavor to these caramelized onions along with the um, the Worcestershire or like I like to say that what's that here sauce and to make sure that these get cooked down real well okay the next ingredient is going to be the one that brings it all together so I'm gonna add a little bit of butter and what I like to do is add cold butter and the reason I do that it takes a little bit of time to melt and that allows for all of the onions to get coated by the butter and basically let all these come together and um, 
like I said, right at the end, what I'll do is add a little bit of salt and pepper and uh, get those onions tasting good. And you want to make sure you taste them, but as you can see, they cook down real nice and uh, they're going to be right on point for what we need with these sliders. Okay. So I'm going to take the onions, I'll put them aside and I'll come right back. So now that I've cleaned off my pot just a little bit, I'll add in a little more avocado oil and we're going to go ahead and sear up these cakes. Okay. So this is going to be very, very quick. We don't need to um, do anything too special. So I'm going to put three cakes in the pan. Okay. And you want to get them fried up. And what you're looking for is a nice golden brown color. Okay. You could have a light golden brown color. You could have or a, a dark golden brown color. What I want to get with these, I want to get a nice dark golden brown color. So I'm actually going to flip them a couple times and I will make sure that um, you know to show you guys what the finished results look like. So once I get these done, um, we're gonna flip them a couple times, like I said, just to, to really get that that caramelization on there and and let the, uh, the inside of the cake cook because we want to make sure that the, the fish is done and of course the shrimp. Uh, we don't want to eat any raw shrimp. <laughs> um, crab meat is pretty much cooked already, so that's already going to have its own individual flavor with all of the things that we added to it. So obviously see that's the color we're looking for right there. That is just on point. Um, so I'm going to let these cook down for just a little bit longer. And once we're done with those, I'm going to put them aside and we're going to come back with the assemble. All right, let's get this dish assembled. So I made some black bean and corn salsa. It's my version. Um, it's a little bit different. It used to be my party party thing that I would take to all kind of uh, different events, uh, including my fried chicken, which I'll show you both of those in another video. But I'm gonna put that in a little bowl and uh, it's a nice little refreshing dish that you can eat some chips uh, or some veggies. So. I'm going to come in with the buns and I use some um, small slider potato buns and uh, I just like the flavor of them so that's why I went ahead and chose those with, with these particular dish. So again sticking with the theme of the what we, the ingredients that we actually put in the, the slider cakes themselves, I'm coming back with that sriracha mayo and what you want to do is just swirl that around a little bit on the buns. Um, Again, you don't need a whole lot. I mean, the, the, the flavor itself of the cake is going to be delicious. So it just this is just kind of enhancing what we've already done. Uh, so next, I'll come in with some vegetables. And um, I'm only adding just tomatoes on this one. You can put lettuce on here, but I'm just going to go ahead and just add some tomatoes. I just think it's good. Now, I left one without a tomato on it because my wife doesn't like tomatoes. So I had to... Um, leave that one vacant without the tomato and um, so pretty much this dish is all the way done of course we got to come back with those caramelized onions we can't forget those so we had the, the caramelized onions on top of there right on the cake and I'm telling you I mean look at that man um, the, the onions are they're, they're sweet they're savory they add a, a great little element to this particular dish and um, I mean, can't go wrong with them. Uh, so I'm really proud of this dish and, and it, it's fun and easy to make. Um, and again, like I said, it's, it's perfect timing for football season. If you want to do this with burgers, you can. If you want to do this with turkey or whatever, I mean, but I chose seafood just because that's what we like. So here's the finished product. Um, I mean, you know, you tell me. Uh, again, from my table to your table, enjoy. Have a great day.